Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to G-Bear's Off-Grid Way, the homestead in the desert. So, cleaned up the garden a little bit and uh, got things all watered and taken care of. So, I'm going to get in there and rake the rest of this thing out, get all of the, uh, the green leaves and that stuff that are on the ground. I'll get all of those out, get them into the compost pile, and... Uh, Get things leveled out so I can uh, pick up some more um, garden soil and fill this right up to the tops of the boxes for the tree boxes and uh, it'll be all ready to replant again come springtime. I may throw some things in like uh, cabbage and that stuff in here that'll uh, be able to survive until uh, Christmas or New Year somewhere in there but uh, we'll see. In the meantime, my uh, watermelon is really flourishing here. And uh, I got uh, one little one down here. And there's a couple of them in there, but I can't go searching through them all right now. But uh, I did see one in here. Oh yeah, right there. So I might even get a couple of watermelons before the uh, season's over. And my uh, pear tree has got some fresh sprouts on it here and looking pretty good tomatoes well i've got one right there i'm going to pick off and munch on hmm what is a sweet so lots of flowers should be getting some more uh, cherry tomatoes out of that um, i had a san marzano the other day or yesterday actually when i was uh, in here scraping things I pruned back all of my tomatoes down to the stems that were, I took all the stems off that were no good, all the extra branches off, and I've got these uh, new tomato plants coming up. Now this one, I'll be taking some of these sprouts off of here because uh, just like a, your main tomato plant when you first plant it, you definitely want to uh, prune it back to have you two or three main stems, take everything else off. and. Uh, keep uh, pl plucking out those little suckers get rid of those suckers now uh, these uh san marzanos over here they're budding like crazy and i've got some tomatoes set on it already so they'll be doing great but look at my jalapenos i got flowers on here and i've got a couple of peppers already set inside here so they're coming up really well since they uh not being choked anymore and uh, my strawberries are all uh, throwing out their reachers and feelers and planting new strawberry plants for the next batch of strawberries. Uh, and my uh, orange trees that I planted from my Bill's, uh, my friend Bill's oranges, uh, they're doing great, but they're going to end up inside of the garden house. And uh, I was going to try to get that floor done this week, but uh, now they're talking about another heat wave coming through. So today's going to be the last cool day, and by cool I mean 90, 91, and then it's going to go up to the hundreds from there. Now, I, I understand that Orange County is going to get it a lot worse than us because we're going to have an offshore flow coming with the winds coming out of the northeast, north-northeast, and blowing out towards the west to the uh, um, down the mountains and all that. They get a Santa Ana winds event, and those you of you that don't live in California, don't know what Santa Ana wind events are. Well, the, the winds blow offshore from the de across the desert and they pick up heat in the desert already. But then when they go down the mountain sides on the other side of the mountains going down towards the coastline, uh, there's compression involved and the compression heats that air up even more. So we might be having 90, 95 out here, but they're gonna see 105 down in the Orange County. So they'll be loving that. Um, yeah, my, my trees are all coming back now that I've started uh, watering them again. Uh, even this avocado tree has got a bunch of new buds on it. Uh, it's coming back. And uh, my citrus trees are all coming back. So I've been taking care of things out here because I can't get up and Adam 74 to come out and do it all for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, that's where we stand. Like I said, these tomatoes, are, they got to be tied up and 
Um, I'll pick out a few more uh, branches and suckers off of these and clean them up. Oh yeah, my uh, broccoli down there has got new sprouts on it. So, looking good. All right. My eggplant, just like Nellie, isn't laying any eggs. But the uh, other three hens are giving me uh, an egg apiece each day. So I'm getting three eggs. I eat two in the morning every morning. That gives me an extra one. So I build up uh, some background eggs on there. Uh, this is my okra down here. And I got actually got an okra sitting on it right there. But uh, that didn't do well because it was completely uh, engulfed in tomato plants. Um, for next year, I'm not going to plant so many tomatoes. I can probably get just as many tomatoes off of less plants with more air space between them. Because like this, these early girls here, they're just choking each other. But uh, I'm still getting tomatoes on them, so what the heck, right? But uh, I've got to thin out my tomato plants and uh, make sure I don't over plant and choke off everything with them. So anyway, um, my tangerine tree is coming back and that watercress down there, the chickens love that stuff. Of course, I throw some in my salad every now and then. And uh, my apricot tree here, looking really good. Uh, it's definitely set root as uh, all of my fruit trees have. So uh, next year, I'm gonna be seeing, probably seeing some more fruit on here. I know that peach tree is really doing well. So I might have to prune that back as soon as it goes dormant. And uh, that pear tree over there also, I'm going to prune that back and graft it. I'll take a couple of grafts off of uh, this pear tree and uh, that pear tree and graft them into that pear tree so that all the pear trees start producing. All right, everybody. That's about all I have for today. Uh, I'm going to be going into town. i got my <coughs> trailer hooked up right now to the van. And I'm going to go into town and pick up some materials and get some work done. So I will be happy and get things cleaned up around here, get, get things put away. I've got a lot of stuff to put away. All of these uh, plastic barrels all have uh, garden soils and things like that in them. And I've got my uh, bed, pine beddings that i got to get put away, things like that. So, yep, got a lot of cleanup to do. And uh, as soon as... Uh, heat wave is gone that thing is getting completed along also with the um uh mister system uh, the pipes all inside of this thing and also i got to put the end caps on the gutters on these and uh get ready to drain some of that down into some rain barrels which is going to be those two blue barrels right over there all right everybody that's it this is g bear thanking you for joining me on my episodes don't forget, questions, comments down at the bottom. And don't forget to subscribe, please. I really do need more subscribers. And I love all my subscribers. And I know that some of them don't comment all the time, but they're still there. Because uh, just out of the blue sometimes, they'll drop a comment for me. I appreciate you all. Thanks for joining me. This is G-Bear signing off.